Guys, I want to kind of do a follow-up video to, to uh, yesterday. I kind of shot in and I and I didn't explain myself. I forgot who I was talking to. Is is what it amounts to. Uh, a lot of guys subscribed to my channel a long, long time ago because I was doing a lot of Volkswagen stuff, and I still enjoy doing Volkswagen stuff when I feel well enough to do it. I just don't have those days to where I feel well enough to uh, work on bigger projects. Anyway, I mentioned uh, uh, the 40 IDF. I didn't even tell you what what it was, uh, and that's my bad. This is a, a Weber 40 IDF, okay? And this one, that's a Weber ICT, okay? A lot of guys like different things, you know? Uh, and sometimes people put motors together uh, let me think of the right way to word this I don't want to sound rude without really knowing what all goes into it you know they'll hear Weber 40 IDF or whatever and they'll think that's a good thing for their motor well it's not always the case because these to me these carburetors are like uh, kind of like comparing a, a Holley 750 double pumper to the uh, like an Edelbrock like the, the just the 600 CFA metal bra. Okay, this carburetor works really good. In my opinion, these are my opinions, guys. Don't get you know uh, some people get kind of hurt or angry or whatever. I'm just voicing my opinion and my experience here. These work really good on um, smaller motors. You know, these work really good on bigger motors. Um, Say you have, uh, uh, say you're building a 1641 or even a 1600 cc. I put a set of these on there, no problem, without hesitating. And, and they are, you know, you can get jets and jet them up, you know, and, and fit them on a little bigger motor. But if you take, if you take, um, say, uh, a 1641, and it doesn't have a big cam. Uh, nice flowing heads and so on and so forth and you stick one of these on there you're not going to get the potential out of this carburetor in my mind these the IDF and they come in different sizes too um, are for your bigger motors uh, ones with larger cams better flowing heads big valves in them so on and so forth if you build a great big motor up and you put one of these on it it's, it's like the, the, the thing I'm talking about, it's kind of a mismatch. It's not going to have the fuel that it needs. Uh, I've seen guys with, uh, well even myself when I was younger, I had a, a 72Z28, okay? And I had a little, uh, uh, what was it? I'm thinking it was a Holley 650 on it, okay? That's all I could afford. Um, but the motor had been built it was uh let's see i think it was uh the 60 over 350 four bolt main not a big cam in it or anything like that but i was running around in this old z28 and a buddy of mine he had this uh, 750 double pumper on it okay i put the double pumper on it and that motor came to life man it seemed like it doubled the horsepower and that's the same thing if you had a bigger motor and you put a set of these on it it's not going to get enough fuel to live up to its potential okay now this, on the other hand, if you took a 1641 with no heads on it, no cam, pretty much just a little bit above stock, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna do it for you. It's too big. It's too much. It's too much carburetor. But if you know if you put all all the things together right and, and realize the the uh, the size of your engine, the cam, the heads, the size of the valves you know all that stuff considered it's going to do really well I found that these are really good carburetors a lot of guys don't like you know they'll run the single because they don't like the tuning stuff the, you know they're having to uh, mess with them these don't tolerate dirt very well a lot of guys even that now some guys will run the sand rails and woods buggies will put these out there but some of them won't they'll run a single one of these because they don't want it exposed to all the dirt these don't tolerate dirt very well these, on the other hand, it's kind of like the Holly or the uh, Edelbrock. Just a very dependable little carburetor. I mean, they're just pretty solid all the way around. 
Um, my opinions, guys. Those are my opinions. And do with them what you want. Um, but if you don't consider what, you know, the size of the motor and the carburetor you're going to put on it, you're going to have trouble because uh, these especially are pretty finicky. These can be jetted wrong and still run pretty good on your motor. They won't live up to their potential uh, jetted wrong. But these, if these are jetted wrong, you have all kinds of different problems. You can have a, a, a you know, it'll hunt and so on and so forth if your uh, jets are wrong. Uh, you can have, and on the primary circuit, where your idle jets are, you can have the black smoke rolling out or whatever, and it's, it's like any car, it runs on circuits, the primary and secondary circuit, you know, once you get out, uh, over, say, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say 1800 RPM or whatever, you're out, out of your um, idle circuit into your secondary circuit. Guys, uh, another thing about IDFs that... Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say it's a problem because, you know, for a guy who's never experienced it, he's going to say you're full of crap. So, others have experienced it. I've experienced it myself. Some guys don't want to use um, the IDF because of gas leaks. Now, I, I've had a fresh pair of IDFs leak on me, you know, and, and, and if you think about it, you've got this thing sitting on the intake, um, your exhaust is going to be running right under here. I had a fresh pair of these. I believe that's why I put the X on this one to identify that I need to get into it, do some work on it because this was the one that leaked. Okay, and that's just another thing with the with the IDF that, that people don't like that carburetor sitting right over top of their exhaust springing a leak. Okay, I've uh, one guy I read I was reading in a forum one time that a guy built a fresh motor, just put his car together, and had a set of IDFs on it, took it out for a spin, caught on fire, burnt to the ground. Now, am I saying that these are bad carbs? Absolutely not. I'm not saying they're bad carbs. It's just another reason that some guys will, this, they want to play on the safe side and put that right in the middle and run it as a, uh, a single. But then with the single, you got a lot of tuning issues. Uh, seemed like the guy that said that that happened to him, it was, uh, had to do with his accelerator pump. Not sure really what all the you know it's just a short little thing you know but you have different places that, that thing can spring, spring a leak you know whether the uh, had a hole in your diaphragm and it came out here or if uh, you had a leak around this gasket here leak around the fitting or leak around the line whatever you know whatever you want to do with the information guys this is just really I'm just throwing it out there as uh, just uh, kind of uh, Weigh it out. See what you want to do. Consider the size of your motor. So, yeah, it's that's my two cents, guys. I put that video out there, and some of y'all were like, well, that's cool, but I don't even know what an IDF is. So that's, I'm just trying to explain myself. Sorry about that. I didn't, uh, I wasn't even considering my audience. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's, uh, we could go into a lot more detail with these things, but... It's, it'd be too long a video. We may do something else later with it. I do know that I've got to take one of these IDFs, like I said, and put the zero bypass valve in it for a 1915. We'll be doing that. Uh, I don't know. Parts probably won't be here for a week. Anyway, but yeah, I'm going to cut it off here.